excited to have creative partner Linda Hansen and her husband Lee join us for tonight craft in uh, Linda if you want to say hello and introduce yourself hello we're just trying to get our computer muted there we go Lee had trouble finding where it was supposed to be at oh I don't think we're on the right one hold on we gotta we gotta find you here yet Okay, well, it says I am live and I do see some comments. So that is reassuring. I have to tell you, ladies, sometimes on accident, when I forget to choose the QE Lane Facebook page, I'll go live on my own personal page as, as Sonia. Um, and my, my Facebook followers are always wondering, like, why is she going live and why is she talking about scrapbooking? And it's clearly not QE Lane. Sometimes that happens, but I know we are live. <laughs> Excuse me with Kiwi Lane, with Linda and Lee. Thank you for saying hi in the comments, everybody. Uh, Linda's gonna be oh, perfect. Okay. Linda's going to be creating with the Tropical Vibes kit from last month, I believe is one of my favorites to date. She's also going to be creating with the summer accessory set, kind of a goodbye to summer layout. Um, so Linda, if you want to uh, introduce yourself and then I will switch it over to you. All right, sounds good. Well, I'm Linda Hansen. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Um, here with my husband, Lee. Say hi. Hi. And we are actually at the Wisconsin Dells again. Uh, we were in North Dakota last night, uh, but 14 hours later, I drove all the way here to the Dells. And we're excited to share with you uh, one of the last summer layouts that uh, we are going to be creating. Perfect. Well, with that being said, the only Kiwi Lane announcement is for September. We did unvault the scissors a la carte. If you remember from 2019, if you were here uh, for National Scrapbooking Day, they released a scissors a la carte. We unreleased it, unvaulted it, I guess, not unreleased, unvaulted it for the month of September. So you can purchase the scissors a la carte um, in the shop. Um, it pairs perfectly with the September Kiwi Club kit, which is create a life you love. If you haven't seen it, it's also very cute. With that being said, Linda, I am going to let you take over. Perfect. Thank you so much, Sonia. And I, <laughs> I hope everyone has had an opportunity to uh, purchase the August monthly kit, uh, the Tropical Vibes. I will, Kiwi Lane just amazes me every time, but this one is just gorgeous. There is not one bad paper, not one bad uh, sentiment card, not one bad template. It's going to be in your repertoire. The templates are for a long time to come. But I would like to, if you haven't purchased it, I'm going to go real quick here through and show you what the papers are before I lay out the design. Um, and we have Rhonda on, Ron Mole. We have hello. Suzanne Connor. We have Lisa's on. Deb is on, Darlene, uh, just lost Darlene uh, from Michigan, Sharon from up there, and Angela from Kentucky, and Char from Nebraska. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. It's It's been a, a, a long couple of days. We, uh, we drove from North Dakota, right? I drove most of the way, and Lee worked yesterday. We left at 6.30. We got here at 9.30 last night, so it's been a long day. But we're glad here to be back in the Midwest. Um, so I'm going to show, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm going to show you here the papers. The, the navy here, the reason I have it out is so you can see the templates. But this is part of um, the kit. And on the back is kind of a white with gray uh, tones in it. So we've got a toucan page. And this one is green with leaves. We have flamingo and leaves. On this side is a tone on tone, kind of a reddish pink. We have some pineapple paper, some beautiful yellow tone on tone. This is, I call it a pool blue. It's not teal, it's not blue, it's a 
cool blue. Um, and then this is gorgeous. This is a navy with kind of a lighter blue. It almost reminds me, it looks like waves, but it also reminds me of a basket weave. So if you have this, any scraps left over, think about that for your Easter ones. All right, and this is kind of a pink. Um, it's a corally pink. It's just, it's gorgeous. And it has like a feather tone on tone. We have some uh, white with different sun. And then of course we have a chevron shape uh, with all the colors. I'll make you go across that. <laughs> and this is another green with leaves, tone on tone. And then these are some more of the double layouts. Kiwi Lane Kit Clubs give you three double uh, background sheets. So on is this that side- textured? I can see- like it, it looks like it's textured, but it, it is not i mean you can't feel it but it, it it is gorgeous so we've got a red and a, a green and then this is actually the one i'm going to use it looks like a little tile this is a light blue and on the back there's a beautiful yellow with that same tile print okay and then the templates that come with it i'm actually going to use pretty much all of the templates that came with this so we'll we'll uh and the templates that came are at the top of the sheet, right? Yep. They give you, I'm going to try and see if I can incorporate these in there. Uh, vacation time, just another day in paradise, and they're solid on the back. This one says, apparently, when, apparently, we are trouble when we are together. Love that. Okay. So we're going to head and lay it down so you can see what I've designed. I'm using Claire Lane 1A and 1B. Okay. And then this is from the summer set. This is the sun's number seven of seven pieces. And then I'm going to use a la carte my oasis. And this is going to go right here. I have, here. Two, I have right. two. Yeah, sometimes I have double the templates because um, they're ones that I would use more than once on a page. You don't have to. But sometimes when it, when I'm designing, it's nice to have that. I can visualize in my head, but sometimes Lee, he likes to look and he said, well, put it there so I can see what's going on. And if there's someone that's totally new to Kiwi Lane, uh, be sure to speak up and Linda can uh, explain a little bit more what some of these items are. Right. And how I they work together. It. Yes, we appreciate you can let us know so we can explain a little clearer. All right, so I'm using Cedar Trails. This is a fun border. Claire Lane is a regular border. This is a fun border. And then I am going to use 1A and 1B of the chevrons. Now, some of you already know this, but maybe some of you don't. You can actually weave these together to get a different design. And that's what I'm going to do. I am going to put it and you can make it tighter or put yes, it you together can. To make you the, can make it in any shape that you want once it's together. It's like a snake. <laughs> oh, the last time we left here, guys, we uh, we actually had a snake that rode on our jacks all the way to Middlebury, Indiana. That was and creepy. he was still alive. And he was still alive. We don't know how he made it. So, but I'm going to do that, especially on the Illinois roads. <laughs> and then. I am going to use photo templates. Now, if you don't have photo templates, this is probably the best investment you will ever make. Um, I actually have three sets of them, but I'm using um, two tonight. I had to borrow from one of the others. But they're so helpful in designing and see what your layout is actually gonna look like. And then when you put your pictures down, they're gonna just pop right in there and you won't have to worry about trim. Do I get it too big? Do I get it too little? You're already gonna know. Joni said, oh my gosh, a snake. Yeah, it was a small garter snake. But it wasn't. All nice. the way from here in Wisconsin down. And they said, well, you must've gotten there when you had your jacks down last night. And we said, we haven't had the jacks mm -hmm. down since Wisconsin. So yeah. we had a hitchhiker. But Debbie says she loves those photo templates. Oh, I'm so glad. And the photo mats are, are so nice for putting trim around your pictures. And I like to translucent so you can see how you yes. crop the pictures and slide it around. All right. So here's Claire Lane 1B on this side. And then I've got three four by six photos. One, two, 
Gracie is shed. She must be getting rid of her summer coat. But I have got hair tonight where I don't want hair. So we put her in the kennel. She was a little feisty. She hasn't had her nap today. So, and there's been a lot of people coming in and out of the RV park. So we're actually at Country Roads uh, RV Resort. If you've ever been to the Dells and you have a motor home. So, okay, so this is amazing. This is one of the templates that come with the monthly kit, Tropical Vibes. And then I'm using a four by five photo here. And then this here, uh, this is wild. This came from the, um, the, the last kit that had the giraffe and the uh, bigger template in it. I thought I left it out here. Here it is. Well, you're talking from about her in Wisconsin, right? Yeah, so yep, it came John with this here one. said that she uh, is in Colorado currently, but she uh, lives in Wisconsin, so. She said she misses Midwest. Yep, let us know where from the Wisconsin. We're in the area of the Dells, so we'll be down around Madison. In a couple few days. Week. So this is the Flamingo. This come with the Tropical Vibes, this monthly kit. And then I'm going to use Tiny Highlights. Now it's going into the vault, if I remember right, or if it's not already there. But if you have Tiny Highlights, there's a little bit of uh, floor, uh, tropical flower in there. A little, a little higher. A little higher, I could do that. And then I also have Tropical Four, which came in our Aloha monthly kit, one of the first kits that were ever made by Kiwi Lane. But any flower will work. I just happened to pull these because I had them. And then I have a toucan that came with the set. It's called Amazing Two of Five. And we're gonna put him over here in this tree. This little palm tree. Is he awake or is he sleeping? <laughs> And then, so the bottom of the flamingo that's there, there's a stencil here that he has the legs that we'll make the legs out of. There's also some, um, what do they call them? I wanna call them stemmons, but that's not it. But this is the center of the flower. There's also some tiny flowers, uh, another little palm leaf, all little designs here, even some seagulls that you can cut out for your- uh, Or use your imagination. It could be all yeah. kinds of things. And then this also came with it. This is amazing, one of five. You can put the toucan on. I've seen a lot of people do that. I'm just going to actually use the leaves around this little flower that I've got over here. Okay. Everybody knows I love this surfboard that I can use it to make just about anything. Anything from a mermaid to, I, oh, I can't remember everything I've done with it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to use it. Now watch this. I'm going to put it there. We're going to put a hammock between the two palm trees. Okay. So that's the layout we're going to create tonight. If you want to take a screenshot, go right ahead and take a screenshot. And then we'll start pulling them up and start putting papers underneath. And well, I guess I should show you the, the photos I'm going to use. So this is our daughter's eldest. This is Audrey. These pictures are from 2021. Uh, they went to Sonata Beach, I think is how you call it in Florida. So it's close to Panama City Beach, correct? I it's you don't know direction. Kind of <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, that's Audrey. And this is Gavin. He's the middle one. And of course, a lot of you know Violet. This is my little jelly bean. So, and then we've got a picture of the whole family. That's my daughter, son-in-law, and the three grandbabies. And that one is going to go there. And then I've got the girls staring at the ocean. There's mama with her three little babies. There's Audrey and one of Gavin digging a really deep hole. And these are gonna go right along here. So that's what we're gonna do for tonight. Now, I just wanna let you know too, on September, is it the 28th or 25th? I forgot to look. Um, it's the last Friday night of the month. Um, I'm gonna be doing another craft in and it's going to be dealing with camping and um, a lake. So if you guys want to join us for that, that would be wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. We'll start with the base. One comment I was going to make, though, you talked about taking a screenshot here of the templates. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda will post everything afterwards, as a lot of you know, and she'll list everything she uses all the way down to the bling and the embellishments. 
but you'll probably include a picture, I imagine, in that posting. Oh, that yeah. You took of this layout of the templates. Oh, definitely. Um, I already did, actually. So another thing is this little thing over here, that, that little palm trees in the sun. We're going to do something very special with it. You are going to love it. Uh, it has to do with some sea turtle shimmers. Say that real fast. Three times <laughs> no, not happening. Shimmers. Not happening. STS. Yeah. Okay. So I have not picked papers for this yet. I mean, I just kind of looked at it. I am going to put my light ones down. Sandro's is on. Tanya Zong says hello from Texas. Hello. So glad you guys joined us. And I told you earlier, Joni's on from Whoops, Colorado. sorry about that. Uh, Melody's looking forward to seeing tonight's layout come together. Awesome. So what we have a pair from Arkansas, Shirley and Melissa. Awesome. Well, hello, hello. Leslie from San Antonio. All right. Deborah Zong from I always pronounce it wrong, but uh, Juma, Louisiana. <laughs> All right. Where I like to be. And Debbie songs from Florida. Sure I get those out of the way. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to start with the tree really quick because I'm going to use some burlap. And then I can lay it down on there and just kind of see. Burlap, you're going to lose. Use burlap. Yes, I am. Linda Brock's off and right. She's from Florida. Okay, pencil, pencil, pencil. Uh, Stacy Morab. Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> we haven't seen her forever. Hello, Stacy. We I miss you, girl. It's, moving back into the land here where there's actually trees. It was hot in North Dakota. I mean, on it, Labor Day, over a hundred degrees in North Dakota. But we're then, supposed to have a low of thirty-nine tonight. They were saying. Yeah, it it was like ninety some degrees still at night. I was like, this 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 isn't right for North Dakota. And Shelley's then, on from Minnesota. We came through there yesterday. Yeah. That going through Minneapolis, St. Paul, I uh, kind of took my own route through. Lee wanted me to go 694 six, all the way around, but the, <coughs> the, the traffic GPS, was stopped. Which and then, a, it's mm, not trustworthy. Yeah, well, that then also, too. But yeah, it was, it was and challenging. And just so you're aware, Vince is here, too. So we got to stand up to salute <laughs> him. Hey, Vince. Another integral coach owner. They bought our, our old coach and I kept teasing him. I'm like, you need to bring the coach up here at the Dells and join us. So. But that is something we're going to look at. We were just at a rally in Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, we met some people who are going to go full time. We met people that are full time. And a lot of them were trying to convince us we need to come to Florida in the winter. Down around, uh, was Benita Beach yep. area, yep. I think it was. Yep. They said they have so many of the different resorts there have a lot of craft things that go on and people doing things all the time. And Linda could do a lot of scrapbooking and work with people and everything. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to, as soon as Lee retires, I think we're going to give it a shot. Of course, when they said Florida and I thought about no winter, no snow, I'm allergic to snow, <laughs> I kind of missed out on He's the rest really of the not. craft discussion. He's not really allergic oh, to snow. Oh, I think I am. <laughs> I tell you, if you don't want to, if you don't want to hear any swear words, or if you do want to hear swear words, just go with Lee the first time he goes out to to scoop snow with the the snow plow thingy. He just he comes back. He goes, "I told you how much I hate snow." So I don't mind seeing it in the postcard or on the Weather Channel, but I don't <laughs> need to experience it first. Oh goodness! All right. Handy dandy Tim Holt scissors. Yeah, Linda says it gets cold in Florida. Yeah, what? Probably 50. <laughs> uh, we last year, I think we got down to 40 below the zero once, didn't we? That might have been wind chill, but. Oh, for us in Iowa? Yeah, when oh, it, it gets was to 20, I can still wear a t shirt. Well, just when you think winter's just about over, then it will just dump a whole bunch of snow. But, but you're right, as my Linda says, uh, it's you get used to what you get used to. So 
I know I went to a conference once in December in Florida, which is usually pretty warm, but it was cool. And I see people wearing heavy winter coats, and I'm not wearing a coat, and I thought it was nice out, but it's all relative, I guess. <laughs> Our dog doesn't like anybody with a hat or a hood either. So she usually is growling at Lee when he comes in. And yeah, with all of my stocking caps and my <laughs> face shields. Earmuffs. My, yeah, all, all the things. But Debbie says, Florida's fabulous. You'll love it here. Uh, so where is here, Debbie? Is it? I guess anywhere in Florida is nice in the winter, in my opinion. <laughs> they do get some snow up in the northern part, but not bad. Yeah. Well, we... Uh, we love the travel thing and if he wants to go to florida i'll go to florida i i'm allergic I like to those South don't Texas see too i like arizona yeah. in the winter i like alabama Ooh, debbie's in plant city so March, Ooh, we'll strawberries. strawberries oh yeah well, i do have a story to tell about that we were down there one time at spring break and our daughter who she's quite small is in the back of the vehicle she's and just quiet real. We had bought a whole pallet or whatever, a flat of strawberries. And when we stopped, that flat was almost empty. <laughs> I said, did. What did you do? And she just back her to see. Her face is red, her just fingers are red. The box and she was a mess. <laughs> oh my she gosh. She enjoyed it. Still to this day, she loves strawberries and she'll, she'll let me know if she finds plant strawberries in the grocery store. And uh, she's like, Mom, you got to go here. They've got strawberries. They're from Plant City. And, yeah, but, Plant City's good. And uh, and Nikki's on. She's howdy from Chile, Wyoming. We just came in from Watford City, North Dakota yesterday. And uh, close it to, was really hot there, but it was the front was behind us, and they're supposed to be getting cold. So down in the 30s, possibly. Yep. Up here. We were close to the Montana border and the Canadian border is where we were at. Just south of Williston so, Way, so we they, had a little bit to go. Well, I tell you what, they also have a lot of haze. The last few days we were there from some fire. I don't know if it was from Colorado or where it was at, but man, well, it was. from Colorado, they can always it, comment on the fire. It was really hazy. Beautiful sunrise. Oh, so yeah. I got it just like an orange dot. Yeah. Kind of through the haze. Well, we'll be doing some of those pictures coming up on one of our craft ends, but yeah, it. Well, Nick nice. was out of Wyoming just said, yep, it was hot here yesterday. Upper 90s, today high was 55. Hmm. And you think about that, that should cause some kind of a major phenomenon to occur. Rain, tornadoes, storms, hurricanes, something. <laughs> uh, well, then we went, we were in Nebraska before that in Lincoln, Nebraska. It was hot there, it was hot there too, but it was more humid. North Dakota is not humid, so... I mean, what's hot, it's still hot, but Lincoln, it was really hot. Oh, and I got Lee a new hat. So you'll be seeing pictures. Of, I don't think I've posted any yet. I sent yeah, the kids you don't pictures. Want to no pictures of Lee. <laughs> no, it looks good. He, uh, covers my bald head. He actually can wet it. And it looks like an Australian cat is what it looks like. But you can wet it and it keeps you cool. So he didn't complain about the sun because of his hat. Oh, and then while we were there, so we ordered these things called Magna Shades that you put on the windows of your coach to help keep up the sun. So we got those ordered. We had them on our last one. But we also, we went to different seminars. Um, Lee and I had to split up most of the time because there were so many that we wanted to go to. And I went to one in... A little bit later, I came home with a little bitty cardboard box, and he wanted to know what it was. And I said, it's an internet on the go. And he, he wasn't sure about it, but I said, it's the same thing that they use in ambulances to talk to the hospital. So it's all secure. It works great. It really does. He even could use it on the road for his work and didn't have to worry about security and uh, yeah so that was that was my my big purchase of the week we were there and we met a lot of nice people had different kinds of coaches we met some that had the same kind of coaches that we had and 
there were what like three or four of our old coach like it that was there so but one of the seminars i have to tell you one that i went to was a gentleman who had been in vietnam and he wrote his memoirs all out and he did a two-day seminar and he he was phenomenal he was in the infantry and it it, it just it just mesmerized you when you were there and anyway, so and he said that his whole story was about what really happened to me. Yes. He was on Hamburger Hill. He was in all the different things and was recognized. And he talked a lot about the things that went on. He talked about the media and how things had to go. A lot of pictures. Uh, he ended up marrying a South Vietnamese woman who has since passed with cancer. Yeah. And he's married again. Uh, but I, he is skinny as real. I think he could probably still wear his uniform today, but he he was a master sergeant, I believe. And uh, it, it was just really informative. He really had people mesmerized. Oh, yeah. Good. And then so his memoirs, he said he only had a couple copies. I mean, it's like probably two and two and a half inches thick. And he said, uh, when I asked him if he had a book, he said, no, but I have an extra copy of this. Would you like it? And I'm like, yes, please. So he autographed it. And um uh, there's pictures and stories. It's it's wonderful. So I'm getting ready to cut out the bottom. I'm going to use the one that looks like little waves. Um, if you think this is too dark to write on, you can do it on the other side. But you can't just flip it and put your template down because it's probably not going to be in the same way you want it on your on your the layout. Green, the orientation of so, the green. So what you do is you lay it like it's going to be on your layout on the side you want. And then you take it slide it off slide it under and flip it over it's called the slide slide flip and then you are to be sure <laughs> you want to take credit for that baby you go right on ahead and take credit for that okay i'll take credit. i don't get credit off. <laughs> okay and then if you've never used kiwi lane how kiwi lane works is you take the b and just put it on top i better make sure that's the way i want it yeah that was Sometimes I might turn the templates different. So the so that they that is you put the mark and just put it on your slice cutter thing or whatever you call it. The, and you can just slice out the square part and just make one connected. Hmm. Okay. So now you don't have to have a 12 inch cutter. You can just get by with scissors if that's all you have. But if you have one, this does make it a little easier. All right, save that one for another time. Now I did get one of the new Tim Holtz inks. I thought I was gonna use it, but I chickened down. I'm gonna use the regular vintage photo. So. And we're talking about Florida. I also know I like Texas. We got one on here from San Antonio. I like that area too. That's nice in the winter time. And I saw we had a couple on from Arkansas. We actually have a rally we're going to be at next year. We could possibly get our schedule to be at Hot Springs there at uh, Lake Catherine. Okay. So we might try to get to that. So, so now that will be fun. The ink. I always ink all my edges of everything, and I'm going to ink as I go. Now I'm going to use, I have two sizes. I have the bigger Tim Holtz, and I also have a little one, and I found a new package. Where would you get those at? I got these from our local scrapbook store. A local Scrap scrapbook Mania. store. They're coming in a two pack. So. And we are blessed. We have a local scrapbook store. Yes. I know some of you don't. And she ships, which is really good because. What's the name of the store? Scrap Mania. I miss it. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time. Well, we had to buy fuel this week, so. <laughs> so I can't buy scrapbook stuff? No. Uh, and it's up Prices to you. are reasonable, <laughs> and if people want to check it out, what number do they call? 319-377-9999. Okay. So you can do your edges if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to do all the edges. Just do the ones. It does make a big difference. Oh, yeah. I've seen it with it and without no comparison. I have, all the pictures. I have a round dome 
on this one. And I really like the dome. It takes a little bit to get used to it. I have a round saying. dome too, but I got to take my hand <laughs> off to get to it. Sorry, dear. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this edge. My burlap shredded a little bit. And yes, I got my burlap at Scrap Mania also. Now, I'm not going to do the palm trees till last because they shred, they shed a little bit. But you do ink those, right? I do ink them. Okay, let's do the sun out of this pretty yellow. Yep. Laura Rippon's on. Hey, says, Laura. Oh, you're fine. Thing. You're just fine. I gotta find what I tell. Oh, here it is. Where did I put it? Okay, do I want to go on this way? White templates on a white table don't work so well, does it? White, no, it doesn't. Okay, so now, hmm, do I want it to go? I'm just trying to decide which way I want the pattern to go. That's the biggest decision in Kiwi Lane, guys. Debbie's on. I know you're on quite a bit, Debbie, from Amherst, Massachusetts. Welcome. East appreciate Coast. Appreciate you all being here. I want to tell you, I took a bad fall a little over a week ago. I, I came home, let Gracie out, and she was so excited to see me. She actually went up to the front of the coach come back to it saw saw her daddy and then she came back to greet me at full speed 60 pounds running 45 foot before she got into me and she knocked me down it was not pleasant so I'm, I hurt my shoulder and I hurt my knee so if I'm a little slow here <laughs> Some of this tracing cut, that would be the reason. Well, we do have a technical question. Okay, yes. Leslie Meek wants to know, what is the name of the product that you use to prolong the life of your inks? I think it's a spray. Oh, it's uh, it's called Reinker. It's also um, made by Ranger. Reinker made by Ranger. Yes. Okay. It's just, it's Reinker. And um, the one... I think there's just one for the water based. Um, Stacy, if you're on, maybe you can help. I don't think there's one for the oil base or the alcohol base. But it's um, it's I should have I didn't set it out today. I should go back and get it. I will post it um, in the uh, comments. And Shari says, when you get back, uh, they will be a uh, welcome back with the party. Aww. And then when I get back, I have two play and stay crops that I'm doing at the store at Scrap Mania. That's where you can come in and use play all the templates. All templates. Yep, for free. It doesn't cost you anything. The only thing you have to do, the requirement is to purchase your paper there at the store. And after you're there for a couple hours, you actually get 10% off of everything you purchase for that day. So it's a win. Can they use their own paper though? Like if they had a kit, like a monthly kit club? They can, but we prefer that they use the paper <coughs> at the store. So, but you can, I mean, it's fine. But it, um, if you've never actually shopped for paper for a layout, I'm there to help you and show you how you can do that and match papers that aren't coordinated for you that you have to do yourself, so. But yes, we do allow it, but we do prefer that you purchase your supply there. All you have to do is bring your own adhesive, wet and dry, um, scissors, and a 12 inch cutter pictures. if you want to, and pictures. Well, you don't even have to bring pictures if you don't want to. Um, so that's got a little point. Now, the reason that I'm inking is to cover up all the pen pencil marks and the little flaws. And the white of the paper, because a lot of times the core Some of, of the them. paper is white. Yeah, Kiwi Lane does it, though. They they don't have the core that's white. The it's, pictures are where you get a lot of that at. This is the Especially best paper. I have used a lot of paper, and Kiwi Lane is the best paper for using Kiwi Lane templates. Yeah, he says, I need so much help with making paper. I'm too far away, though. 
Well, you go to the store and you FaceTime me and I'll help you. I'll talk you through it. Or you can FaceTime me and I'll shop for you at our store. We can do that too. Okay, so that's the sun. Now, I promised you, well, I'm gonna make it wait just a little longer. I'm gonna do the top ones next, but I'm gonna put something in there. All right, so let's do this one. And we will use. And this is the fun border, which does yep. not have parallel. It doesn't have a straight edge. It's nope. no regular. Some fun, some fun borders do, and some do not. Like the scallops, they have a straight edge. Make sure we're using this the right way. We'll go this way. And the reason I said that is because of the pattern. I want to do it this way so I don't use all of the the length of the flamingos. And Debbie said that would be great. Perfect. Yes, we can do that. So, um, everybody been busy with the summer? Are they getting ready for fall? Can you guys believe it? September. Does it seem real? I am, I love fall. It's my favorite time. But that means winter's right around the corner. I'm allergic to that. Yeah, you said you were that. But we've been watching a lot today too. We really are, thoughts and prayers are with the royal family. Yeah. And the monarchy. We don't live under it, but the, the queen really does have a lot to be proud of. Just glad she didn't have to suffer. So, um, Lee, what else can we tell them about our trip that we took? Which part of the trip? Mm -hmm. Well, we were to Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah. We were to Wisconsin, southern Wisconsin, to Lincoln, Nebraska, back home to North Dakota, to here. I'm here for some activities this week uh -oh. to raise some money. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Ask him what kind of activities he's going to be working on. I'm going to be playing a little golf <laughs> and a fundraiser for drive uh, out hunger. food banks. Yeah, drive out hunger. How much do you usually raise? Uh, we're almost at a half million dollars we raised this year Perfect. with sponsors. And uh, goes a lot of the food banks throughout our service area here in Wisconsin and Iowa. So that'll be good. But then after this, we'll be heading for home. For a week. For one week. And I have board meetings in Dubuque, Iowa. And then we go, guess where? Back to Wisconsin. We go by Wisconsin Rapids. Wood County this time. Wood County to do a big ribbon cutting at a huge 1,200 acre solar farm my group just built. And then from there, we come back down to Madison for some meetings. And then... We're we start going heading south. To south We're going to Carolina South Carolina for two kind of three north, weeks. Uh, I guess you'd call it Conway. northwest of Myrtle Beach at Conway. And we're going to be there for three weeks. Yep. Two are rallies. One is an integral and coach owners. And, and one one's, be working be, from there. Yep. And then the other You're one is try Ames. To convince me to come home. <laughs> well, actually, no. We, well, we come home for a little bit. We have to unload the coach. And then we're going to take it to some, the, some warranty work while we're down. And then we'll start it all over again next year. But, yeah. Uh, anyway, Lori says uh, she's ready for fall. Rhonda says she loves how creative you get with using your border templates. Oh, thank you. And I can say thank you because I teach Linda everything <laughs> she knows. To her. Okay, if you believe that, Rhonda. <laughs> Yeah. You need to buy some boots, this, huh? I wonder what this would look like if we did one of them in there. I'm gonna undo it. Like I tell you what, the Kiwi Lane templates are wonderful in the fact that you can see through it, and that's gonna work just fine. So we can see what it look like. Yep. Leslie said that's great. She works at the local uh, food bank several times a year with her local group. I awesome. know uh, what we'll have to do, but it's always fun. We used to um, work with a homeless shelter years ago when we lived in Comanche, Iowa. And uh, when I sang, I actually wrote a song about the homeless. And uh, 
when they never did the the producer never released it that one to radio but all the proceeds from it were to go to that shelter so but we worked it quite a few times and we have we have a few homeless that we see in Cedar Rapids. Um, they have their special places that they stay, but we don't have too many, like a lot of cities. Because we have shelters uh, for them. So, all right. Now I could have done that on the other side, but I can see this, but you guys may not be able to. So I apologize. Got mark and <laughs> That's what I said. They probably can't see it, but I can see it. <laughs> so, well, yeah, what I am going to do is I'm going to cut. See when the blood starts running when I nip my fingers. Uh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to cut it off because it's really hard to. Yeah, you know, that whole big part that you yeah. got to turn. Yep, we'll just do it that way. All right. So. Um, what's the pencil you use again? The Unikuru Toga. I actually had to buy another one because my dog ate the one I had. She didn't Literally, swallow it, but no, she, she chewed, chewed it up. It up. Beyond usage, put it that way. <laughs> the cap wasn't even intact. Yeah, there was nothing. I couldn't even get any lead out of it. It, it was bad. And on your Tim Holt scissors, how do you have to use them? You hold them with the writing towards you, if you're right-handed, and there'll be little grooves, and that goes to the bottom. So. Oh, did we tell them about Gracie? What she did? I don't think we did. She, uh, maybe we did on the last slide, but she... We, we brought corn the home, sweet corn. Yeah, sweet corn. We, so. yeah, we brought sweet corn home. We took some out to the kids in, in North Dakota and uh, along with uh, quarter beef for them. And anyway, I was at a massage and my husband texted me a picture of the dog eating the, an ear of corn. Husk and everything. Oh, the whole thing, cob, everything. And I know that it, they're toxic if they get in if they eat the cob because it doesn't digest in their system, so it plugs them up. So I called the vet and I'm directed to go to the emergency vet. $170 later and a pump stomach, my dog is fine. So, yeah. And the next day she saw more corn and she <laughs> wanted more. So yeah. you can't teach an old, an old dog new tricks. <sighs> on what you call for a young dog. Okay. That way, I'm going to use the same paper. I'm just going to go on the back side. So that use the marks this one. are more clear. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So have you guys been scrapbooking yourselves? If you have, well, we'd love to know what you've been working on. I was telling Sonia that I have not scrapbooked pretty much since the last live. And I miss it. We, I drove most of the time. And so that kept me busy. And then we were at the rally, like I said, doing seminars and classes and visiting with people. So I'm a little out of practice. I cleaned out my scrapbook area in the coat in the back of the coach. So that's all done. Linda Brock said her husband and her just got over COVID. Oh no, that's not good. Bless your well, heart. Glad that you're over. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that stuff is nasty. I had it twice. That's too, too many times. It's not fun at all. But the first time, I don't think we even knew what COVID really was. We, knew. we No, we knew about a week later after I had gotten over it. But the last one was bad. It was not fun at all. So, but I don't know about you guys, but I miss scrapbooking. If I don't do it, I I get withdrawals. <laughs> I start thinking about it. You start with shakes and all. No, I don't get shakes or anything. But I I, I dream it when I sleep, and I can just daydream. Like if he's on the phone, I'll just daydream about. Uh, 
the layout that I want to do. It's like this one. I just started thinking about all the templates that I had to use and the paper and I come up with it in my in my head. And then today I just put the templates out. It's like, this is what I want to do. And I just got to figure out how to do it. So. Linda said she had it bad and her husband was milder. Oh. Well, speaking of daydreaming and scrapbooking, I know Linda's been talking about she's looking forward to Michigan already next May to come up and see some of you that are on and yep. go to the big, what call it, the mega. Mega so, meat. Mega oh, meat. look how that cut. And I put it in a nice Those little pile. Oh, look at that. Those. It's all in the same what kind way. What triangles are they? Though? I don't start with a triangle thing. Are there equal angles <laughs> on the side? Because it needs to equal 180 degrees. No idea. And you've got 90 on one side, the other two sides together should equal 90 degrees. And if they're the same, in other words, 45. Are you guys getting on this? divided by two, then it's an equilateral <laughs> triangle. No, no, no. It means all the sides and all the angles are equal. Hmm. One of these days, I'm going to have to do a triangle page, and I'll make you cut it out and put it together. I can explain it. I don't know if I want to cut it out. <laughs> oh, shoot. So. Oh, let's see what else has been going on. Oh, you guys uh, heard Sonia about the scissors. They've re uh, released for just a little bit the scissors template. If you haven't gotten that, make sure you check it out. It's four dollars. Definitely worth the four dollars. And actually, I got a, a. I think I ordered eight of them so that I could use them in class in, at the scrap. At the, the same play at Scrap Media. Yeah, that Scrap <laughs> Scrap Media. Media. Yep. So, what's the number there? Somebody wanted to go there? 319-377-9999. Yep. And she's got so much new product. That's why it's like, I'm missing home. I want to see what she got. I've been watching the videos. and I know oh, she's even got Facebook. more. Yeah. Okay. Well, our local scrapbook store is in with a group. That's all over the country of different, you know, Air. independent area. Yep. We tried to get to the one in Nebraska, but time just ran out and we didn't make it. So, well, we had the time and we went to go and we had chose the bad time and they were already closed. Yeah. Oh, that's cute, guys. Look at that. Looks like Gingham. Ooh, I like, I like, I like, I like. All right. So, I am going to cut out a couple of these leaves. I know I'm going to do this one in. I've got to use it on this. Side. Let's use that same color. Let's it's use this like one. It's sand dollar. You say it's actually a, it's a leaf. It's a tropical leaf. Okay. Leaf. Believe me, it's a leaf. That's what they designed it for is a leaf. A leaf is a leaf. Right? <laughs> Believe it's a leaf. You're silly. You're silly. Speaking of triangles, our grandson, who's a sophomore in high school, he's in geometry right now. So, and he also has pre-engineering and he has physics he's had. And so I was giving him a hard time about the geometry. I said, you know, there's different things that you have in physics. You have like inclined planes, you have, you know, cylinders, you have levers, you have all kinds of different things. So I said, do you know what it is, Maxwell, if you have a cylinder? an inclined plane and he said no i said you're screwed i said what he says, think about it so if you had a cylinder and you have an inclined Only plane and it wrapped around that it would be like a wood screw so he got that off of big bang <laughs> you guys ever watch that show we love big bang so we got into a couple places where we didn't have any any uh, internet no cable or no satellite nothing but i did bring our Big Bang videos. I have the whole seasons or all the seasons of it. What other videos? Do we and have? What other videos? Oh, I think we've got RV back there. My all time favorite movie is actually um, The Greatest Showman. I love that. I thought movie. it was the, the trailer with. Uh, the oh, no, series. I don't have that one. It's not on DVD, it's only on VHS. The Long, Long Trailer by uh, with Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. You guys have never seen that movie. You need to find it. Oh, it will make you laugh so hard. 
And especially if you do any kind of camping or RVing and you'll, you'll understand <laughs> real quick, but, and then I think I have um, the one uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I have that one. That's good. And then the ones from England. Uh... Oh, Downton Abbey. Yeah. The movie came out. We didn't get to go see it. Uh, so I bought the movie so we could see it on our, on our time. Brendelia yeah. says hello everyone. Hello. This is Linda. I'm recovering from COVID. Oh so no. Or to you too. Guys, you're not supposed to be getting sick, but at least you're doing it before it gets winter. Winter, I think, is the worst time to be sick. I've had summer colds and they're much better than being sick in the winter. COVID is not fun. I, I heard tonight that the monkey pox is not as bad. So that's good. They, I was like, that better not start. That's, we don't need another pandemic. They said it's getting under control. So that's good. A little bit of finite cutting there. So be careful. Yeah. So what you say you have a few tricks you're going to show them here? Let me yeah, know. as soon as I get this cut out, I'm going to cut the palm leaves. And then I'm you going to ink these first. Yep. And then we're going to do the behind the sun. You guys, um, we're going to make a shaker. You guys like shakers? Even on scrapbook pages, I know people do them I for do cards. I like pepper really well. <laughs> Oh, you're <laughs> yeah even on i mean cards are wonderful you know but even on scrap of pages you can do it too because it will move and uh, it's fun something different and it makes your page kind of pizzazz a little okay so i'm going to eat this says one that now our 15 year old's got covid but she does love shakers so. awesome yeah that's not good that you're your family gets it too. That's not good. Lee had it the same time I had it, but he didn't get it quite as bad as what I did. So, and just this is a little tricky. I should probably use the small one to get in there because I don't want to over ink it. But it is domed, so you can get in there pretty yep. well. And you could always bend one out. And bend one yep, forward. that's just what I was going to say. I can Don't do that. Permanently deform it. No, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, I cleaned up in the back, back there. We have to unload everything before we take the coach to Middlebury. And so I was going through and saying, what stuff can I live without? We're only going to, we'll be home about a week this time before we head out on our next trip. And so. I don't know, getting rid of my scrapbook stuff is like saying I have to get rid of my children. I can't do that. <laughs> but you have all your other scrapbook stuff at home. Yeah, that's true. For the whole winter. I know, I know. Okay. And you can get out of fog rock to shovel the snow, but I may not do that because I'm allergic to it. <laughs> okay. Do you guys know what this is? A piece of plastic. It is. It's acetate. I've already, okay. So let me show you how I did this. All right. So I know, just palm trees out of the way. I know that I'm going to put the sun down under the blue. Okay. Because the palm trees so are going to. the sun goes down on me. Yeah. Like, okay. Sing last night. So what I did is I took my acetate, I laid it on, and then I drew just about a quarter of an inch uh past the edge of the sun and then i went down here yeah, a little bit. Of the sun. yes yep so that's what i did i also did another one too i wasn't quite sure if i was going to use it or not i'm going to try this first if i don't like it i might try something else but lynette from one of our teachers at scrap mania she um embossed uh some of this stuff and did it with a with a card and shaker and behind and so I don't know if you can see that. I actually embossed this. It looks like water Maybe drops. Just a little, just a little bit. bit. I don't know if you can see it, see it you that way. A lot of glare off of it. go that way. Anyway, I can show you the, the, here, I can do this better. So this is what I embossed it with. Let me take it out. Get rid of that glare. 
It was from Spellbinders. It's an embossing folder. Is that better? No, we've got delay. Delay in there. Um, yeah, but I used the embossing folder there to do it. it. So, but I think I'm just going to use it plain. Well, that comes through. That it did? Okay. It looks like raindrops on a wax car. Or something. Yeah, it just looks like water splats. And I was going to do that because Lynette had done it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to give that a shot. But it was just a little too busy for what I was doing. And then I just took my uh, little black micro pen and traced it on here. But you can use anything that will trade. Shell song, hello from Nebraska. Hey! We just in the a week ago. All right. So now how we make the shaker. Okay. First. What was that restaurant we went to eat at in Lincoln? Was it uh, Misty's? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went with Randy, and, with Randy and Shirley. I remember which way I did it. It's this way. Okay. So now, and also it'll be hard for you guys to see this. I wonder if I can put it under some dark. Uh, here, let's try this, see if this will work. Oh, that's worse. Turn over to the back side of it. That might help a little bit. Okay, here. Let's do here, this one. Yeah, you really can't have a pattern. There, we'll try that. That'll, that'll break. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on the back of my paper. Make sure you pick the right side to glue. <laughs> that wouldn't be good if I didn't. And what kind of glue is this? This one I'm using the art glitter glue. Uh, it dries, this one dries clear. It goes on white, but it dries clear. And FYI, this one doesn't give you much time. So once you've got it down, it's down. It's not gonna come back up. There's a new one out that I haven't tried. I'll have to show you here. And I thought about trying it. But Detra or Detra, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I had friends at school and they pronounced it Detra, but I think it's Detra. She said she tested positive yesterday and she feels awful. Oh, bless your heart. And you're here with us. Oh, you're just the sweetest. But my goodness, that's not good. Hope you get to feeling better soon. Drink lots of water. When I had it, I craved um, <laughs> yeah, I craved um, oranges and tea and Jello. When I had it, I had that's all I can. And that's a down. lot better. The air conditioner finally turned off. It's Ooh. been warm in here. The sun was beating in earlier. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got that. Kind of put it up in the light and kind of tip it a little bit so they can see. The okay. Just glue your piece on, and I'm going to see what I want to put behind. I think I'm going to use this. That will look pretty good. Okay, so now what we do is we take elevator tape. <laughs> elevator. Well, no, this is a little different. I'm going to use the sun. Where did I put? There it is. Goes down on me. I'm going to cut this. <laughs> or behind it, and all I have to do... Just go just a little bit bigger than the inside yes, radius. Yes, I do. So you can just draw the radius a little bit bigger. I'll do right? that a little lighter. Oh, I should have come down just a tad so I have enough room in the back. We'll try this again. Just a little bit. Okay, so you guys with me so far? So I have something to glue onto? Yep. Look how easy that erases on this this Kuru toga. It does not leave. Does the not good leave. News is the inner one is the one that you gotta have. So yep. you won't see the outer line. Okay. Now I'm done with that. And I'm just gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna go just a little past. That should work. 
so and on quiet. this i know it's so quiet you guys need to be here with me in person i'm going to go ahead and erase these i don't normally erase lines but because i'm working with the acetate i want to make sure everything is covered okay there we go and of course i'm using it on the back of that card so i won't have that card in my kit that's all right okay now what we have here is foam adhesive and this is i think it's only quarter inch so it's not real thick Oh, making a lot of noise. Oh, thank you. Molly Bishop from Michigan, which you work with a little yep. bit, just said hello, Lee and Linda. Hello. Or Linda and Lee, I guess it is. <laughs> Ladies first. Just got back from Montana, Yellowstone, and South Dakota. Mount oh, Rushmore. fun. Month long vacation. I had so many pictures to scrapbook. Awesome. Okay. So this stuff is a little sticky to work with, but that's okay. But the key is getting it all the way around. So I'm going to start up, just, just get some smaller pieces here. Okay. And you, you want to make sure. So that you get in there just right. You what? Chamfer them so they don't show through in the back of the night. I'm putting them where you don't see it. Yep. You want to stay on the out of the clear okay you can bend it a little but if you use smaller pieces it'll work a lot better for you you just want to make sure that you match up as close as you can so that your pieces don't go out of your shaker don't fall out, out of the shaker yeah. yep so if you put um like butt to butt or toe to toe however you want to call it yep Sounds like a medical doctor. <laughs> it does. Uh, Lee was supposed to bring his guitar this trip. Gosh, you could have played and serenaded us yeah, tonight. Yeah, I could have played uh, Winky Winky Donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys, if you're a grandparent, you probably already know about the Wonky Donkey. And I bought my granddaughter. Who is only two. The, the, the Wonky Donkey book. book. And her mom found the song on her their alexa so she was playing the song and my son the last night when we were there he's like all i can do is sing that song even in my sleep i'm singing the wonky donkey yeah three-legged stinky wonky donkey donkey <laughs> it's, not getting me it's hilarious so but if you guys have never heard it you got it you, nikki says i love the wonky <laughs> So, I think it's in the key of C. I have no idea. I have no idea, but it's funny. And then uh, there's some other ones too. The Dinky Donkey. There's the Granny, Granny one. So grandkids yeah, love it. They do. They really do. Okay. Now this is the tricky part. Okay. You can do it one of two ways. You either put the stuff in and then peel it or peel it and put the stuff in. Your call, however you want to do it. Is there a third choice? No, there's not a third choice. Okay, I'm using, this is from um, it's Shimmer's Embellishments. It's uh, more buttons. I got it at the store at Scrap Mania and it has little green shiny beads and seashells. What beads like? It, they look like little water droplets is what they look like and you can fill it as much as you want or as little as you want i you like want to have it shaky you don't want it too full right well i you do it kind of no 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 it's fine it's fine this is not my first rodeo do. i've made these before but you can be a okay. rodeo if you get a bunk at bronx <laughs> I'm still gonna fly well, off. I got it. I got it. Okay. So this, this is that has bad breath, but right, right. Yeah. Okay. Why is this not peeling right? There it is. I'm like, uh oh, I got the wrong stuff. But okay. So very gently, want to peel it all off. But make sure you don't lift the whole strip. Yeah. 
That's why it's nice to do it in little sections. If you peel it and put the stuff in, you have a chance that the little gems will uh, stick. So, Ooh, okay. it's electricity, staticky. Okay, why don't you move that DC over closer to or is that AC? I have no idea. Okay, and I'm going to turn this. It's DC, just so if you want to know. Oh, I learn something every day. That one's done. You don't have to the notes if you don't. Want to. <laughs> I have to tell you, we're we're loving the RV life. We really are. But Lee's favorite thing is our macerator. Okay, this might sound nasty. So what do you call the macerator? It's where you empty the poop tank in the the gray. Well, the black the and the gray. Be technical. And it does it. You don't. Slinky. You don't have to wait for it to drain out. He's. I. I tell him it's like. Well, I'm going to do laundry, so I need you to empty the tanks. So he goes out there, and he's like, "This is so slick. I'm done in less than two minutes." And so, all right, now Linda here Mock we go. From Florida, who just got over COVID, wants to know. She has a technical question. All right. Is the Wonky Donkey book good? Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. It makes absolutely no sense, but it's okay. entertaining. The grandkids love it. So This is the tricky part. You just have sure. to Google it and, and you'll see. Yeah. Hopefully you cut it big enough there. I did. I just want to make sure I get it all covered. Okay. Then you want to seal it down really, really good. Okay. And we should have a shaker. Now you're not going to see this because I'm going to put it underneath, but I will trim this all off. Okay, we'll just trim that. Okay, so this is going to go like this. My grandkids are going to love this. Now you might have to raise this up just a little bit. If you don't like it, you can pop this up on the bottom. And then with after, elevators. Yeah, with elevators. And then that's gonna go just like that. So you're gonna see it, okay? All right. So we got that part done. Now we gotta finish. Finish. I agree with your comment, Sharon. She says you got to Google it and play the British lady, read it to a child. It's yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Linda Brock says, she says, I'll have to get it for my grandson. He's 17 months old. Oh, he's going to love it. You got to read it to him, though. So, yeah, it's, it is amazing. Okay. So, I've got a couple of more leaves I need to do. This one. Let's see if there's a pattern. Yes, the toucan. All right, pencil. I'm really bad about laying things down. It's kind of like the 12 Days of Christmas, the song is. This, yeah. Uh, but you got on the, on the one with the, I think she's actually Scottish, isn't she? The Scottish grandma. Yeah, it's pretty But Scottish. she laughs when she reads it to her grandson, she laughs. And she laughs so hard. She, she's like, I'm going to finish this. I have to finish this book. But uh, yeah, it's good. Okay. Well, Scotland is there. part of the kingdom. What yes. did the queen pass away at? I can't pronounce it. Balmora, Bra Brown. which is in Scotland, hmm. up in the Highlands area. That the one's part. done. Uh -huh. Is that where they make potato chips, the Highland potato chips? <laughs> Only you would think of food. Honey, I can't tell you. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they don't make the oh, chips there, but you know, the Irish eat a lot of potatoes. And Scotland's just across the water. Mm. But we used to buy the Highland potato chips a lot. Oh, years ago. What were the ones in the can? You guys remember those? Pringles. No, know? not Pringles. These come in a great big two gallon can or something like that oh what were those they were charlie's That's charlie's it. chips nasty oh yeah, i met a lady we used to live so, west burlington there we had stir seats so i met a lady in the grocery store in nebraska and she was buying or was it walmart 
I don't know, it was some, it was Walmart. I think. She was buying Sturzing potato chips. Now, you guys, if you've ever been to Burlington, Iowa, you know about Sturzing potato chips, okay? But they're the, I'm sorry, anybody who likes them, I'm sorry. But they're like eating lard balls. They're, I don't like them. But this lady, she said she was going back to Texas and her friends back there requested her to bring as many bags as she could back. But all she could find were the small ones. And I'm like, well, you can find them at the grocery store. And so I told her, they had a high V there. So I told her, I said, go to the grocery store and you can get big family size. I said, but to be honest with you, I don't know why you even bother because it's bad. She said, no, we love them. They're, They're nasty. Flavors. They're like kettle chips that you get other brands. Nasty. Okay, so, and I'm going to use, if you guys notice, so I'm using the same color. We have a lot of people to answer Charlie's chips here too. So. <laughs> I put the same color of the light green on this page and this page. And I have this one. So what I'm going to do to put it on the other side is this little thing, okay, that I was going to use over here. I'm also going to use over there. I'm going to put a couple of these. on my other palm tree. That would be a nice enhancement. We will have to be careful with these palm trees here though. Why? Because it's covered up a lot of the shaker. No, 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 no. It's good. All is good, dear. All is good. So I'm gonna do a couple of these so I can get the green on the other side. But you should always try. I mean, it doesn't have to have to be, but your page will look better if you do some on the same color on both sides. And then we'll just eyeball, close that up, close that up. I'm sorry, you guys can't see this. I should maybe use a darker. I have a seven point instead of the five point lead, and that might be a little darker for it's you point to see. 0.7 and 0.5, yeah. so it's a half millimeter. I do have it a little bigger. You know what that means? It's pretty small. It's pretty small. Yep, <laughs> it's pretty small. Technically speaking. Yeah. So. Did y'all uh, know what template did you use? That one was from this monthly kit club, August one. It was number August one. August 22. Of of uh it's called blamazing one of five it came with the paper kit that i'm using the tropical vibes which is cute yep and right? it still should be it should be in the shop that you can purchase you can purchase just the templates or just the paper they usually release them when the new monthly kit comes out i know the september one's out i haven't got mine i'm excited to go home and get it uh, and but, some of you don't get it, feel free to go to your creative partner and order. And if you don't have one, you can order through Linda, but yep. I know Joni's on and some others that you can order through also. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. They're well worth the money. I know some people say, oh, that's a lot of money, but it's really not. There's so much you can do with that monthly kit club. So I have done the treasure box. I've done paper wizard, which I'm confused with that one. I mean, I love them, but the ordering process is awful. And then I've done, what else have I done? Um, well, I bought another kits from other companies. And it's not just because I'm a creative partner for Kiwi Lane. They're kits for the value and you get to keep something. Bang for the buck you're talking. Yeah, you get to keep the templates. I mean, you can use them over and over and over. So that's a value right there. But the, the, um, I guess I can get three. I'm gonna do three and three. Um, the the value of them is simply amazing, and they have a palm tree on there too. Let me do one of them. Let's see what that looks like. Um, because you get you get the three double background sheets, and then you get all the other papers, like twelve sheets you get in the kit plus the templates. So you can get at least 
at least three layouts. I've gotten as high as seven. I've had to add my own background after I've used the three double ones. And I've made cards. So as you see, we got seven layouts or seven pages and seven double pages. So yeah, that's right. Seven layouts, so 14, 14 sheets, 14 sheets. Yeah. And um, three of them were Kiwi Lane. And then with the rest of it, I got five cards and I could have probably got more. And your so. the Kiwi has both sides, of either side's useful. Right. And plus Only you get this. Sides, if you use one side, you can't use the other, but yeah. save the scraps. You, you know? can't, you can't. You just have to watch how you cut it. But yeah. then you get the sentiment cards too. And, and you don't have to use them as sentiment cards on the, the back, back sides, sides also, all yeah. plain. Yeah, so you Pretty can cool. use it with that. Which is what you used on the back of your shaker. Yep, I did. I did, I did, I did. Okay, let's see how this one looks. But Grindelia says she has it, she just hasn't used it. Okay, so I like that little third one there, a little different. Okay, perfect. Now I know what I'm gonna do. All right, we're just about there. Tiny, tiny. Now, if it's that tiny, I don't keep it. But if it's the size of a quarter or bigger, I keep it. All right, so now we gotta do all those again for the other palm tree. And then we're gonna work on the hammock. And I said a hammock. All right. What time is it? How are we doing on time? It's like 9.30. What? No, it's 8.17. Okay. So Central we, time. Central time. But you I have think, people on the East Coast and you have people in Mountain Time. I tell you what, it messes me up so bad when we're traveling and we crossed over into the... Yeah, Watford <laughs> City is in Central Time Zone. It's almost in Montana. But you come south and you're in the Mountain Times. You cross the Little Missouri River. And all the way to east of Dickinson, you're still in mountain time and you're back to the east, but then you cross back to central time. Yeah. Uh, our son said there's been some discussion in North Dakota to take it all the way to the border of Montana and Wyoming for mountain time, but uh, that hasn't happened yet. Or central time, I guess you would say. But, but central time zone is really big. Well, our niece lives clear in Tennessee, probably almost an hour, within an hour in Knoxville. She's up on the Cumberland Plateau and probably what, honey, 10 miles from her house is where you go into the Eastern time zone. Yeah. So she's in Central, but you go clear out to Western North Dakota and we're still in the Central time zone. Yeah. But if you happen to be talking to our niece, the sun can be setting there and it's an hour, over an hour later before the sun sets out there. It's just different. It's but. unreal. And Rochelle wants to know, are we in Wisconsin? Yes, we're, we're in her home state. We're at the Dells again at the Country Country Road. Country RV. Roads RV Resort here. At Lot Lake, 15. Lake Hilton, Lot 15. Come by if you're here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll turn the lights on. On the front of our coach, it says. What's that we commercial? Have... We'll leave the lights on. Is yeah. that Culver? Sure, it's one of those. I don't remember. Boy, that's. You're really exercising my brain today, dear. That's what you got to do. You got to make it go in. Brain uh, matters. <laughs> uh, Grindelia wants, she says, I got September's templates and I love them. Ooh. What do you think about yours, Linda? I haven't got them yet. I got to go home. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. My mail's, my mail's going to be, and I won't get my October one till the end of the month. And so. Rochelle wants to know, did you have fun in Nebraska? Yes, we did. In Lincoln. And we went to Misty's and had prime rib and uh, had some crab cakes. That was good. Eating. I didn't have prime rib. What did I have? What did I have? You had some kind of a steak bits or something. It was. Uh, I don't remember. Keep working. You, <laughs> you, know, you got to remember this. I don't remember. I it was a supper club and it was so good. It was a salad you got with prime rib on it. Was it? Steak on oh, it. that's right. I did have a salad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't forget. So, yeah. Especially when it comes to food. Hmm. Yeah. We've kind of, we've. Uh... Oh, you're right, Sharon. She says Motel 6. <laughs> you know, left the lights on or whatever. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, golly. But we uh, made some new friends and caught up with some old ones. And uh, we have a, a couple that are from Kansas City. Um, 
Herb and Gloria, they've been motorhoming for quite a few years. They aren't full-time, but they're from Kansas City. And we didn't think they were going to Lincoln. And all of a sudden, just about the last day was next to the last day. They they stop us and I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, it's it's so fun. Uh, you meet people from all over the United States and even Canada. And uh, you make lifetime lifelong friends even if your state's away. We had some really good friends from, uh, they're from North Carolina that were there, Cindy and her husband. Oh yeah, Cindy and Pete. And uh, they're retired, so they do these what they call caravan tours. And this one was the Mississippi tour. And so they go clear up to Lake Itasca where the Mississippi starts and they go in a caravan. So I think there's no more than 20 coaches and they have special stops they go on. It's all pre-planned. But they're working their way all the way down from Minnesota through Iowa. And all they're going all the way to New Orleans. So you do the whole tour of the Mississippi River. And I think it's what two, two and a half weeks. I think three weeks long. I don't remember. And they've been on like ten of these different tours, these caravan tours. They're kind of expensive, but when you think about it, you see a lot. You know, it's covering your your stay at the RV parks, which includes all your utilities and everything so it's it's not that bad but we'd love to be at a point to go and do some of those okay guys this is the back side of this one i'm going to make the hammock out of our surfboard it's going to go between these two trees and the surfboard came from which month this came from the summer kit or the summer template set not that was in august or is this no it's not a monthly kit this is this is the newest release that uh, Kiwi Wing oh, had this. Type thing? No, it had seven pieces. It's a summer. Okay, so it's a whole kit of two No, it's not, a, it's not a kit. Hold on. Let me get it. You gotta explain yourself here. I'm gonna keep oh, asking I'm funny. questions. I got it. You just don't. You, you're having trouble. So it's a surprise. It's a package. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Here it is. Is it it's a capital summer. P or a small P? He's, gonna, he's testing me tonight. Okay, so it has the sun I used, it has an umbrella, it has a popsicle, it has a, a, low, a suntan bottle, a beach ball, you have to hold it, up the, it has the inner tube that looks like a flamingo, and it has the surfboard. So is that the sun coming up or the sun going down? <laughs> you guys, you should be here. <laughs> no, nobody's going to bail you Okay, off. all right. I'm going to make a pencil mark all the way around the bottom. But when I get close to the edge where this point, the double point is, I'm gonna turn it over so I can get a point like the other one on the other side, okay? So that's how I'm gonna do the hammock. Now, to make the inside of the hammock, we can do it one of two ways, okay? We can go ahead and- Go ahead or go- Go ahead, ahead here, okay, okay. So. I've got the point and I've got a one point there and I'm going to make, make a line. Okay. But what I'm going to do to make it look like the hammock, I'm going to cut it out here. You guys with me? Now I've not done this before. This is a trial and error. This is what I see in my head. It's scary in your head. It's though. scary in my head. As our granddaughter would say, it's scary. It's oh, yeah. Scary. Our little, little granddaughter, uh, Everly, she's two. And some things she doesn't like, she'll just like start waving her, her hand up. scary. On his four -wheeler and the engine starts up. She gets all scary. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, and this may work, it may not. I got these at the Scrap Mania garage sale. It's Antique, the Creative Memories Collection Scissors. And first time I use them, but I paid a buck for them. And I'm like, oh, I love this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. I'm and I'm just going to kind of, kind of make, make a little it too small, will it? No. And we have a hammock. My son came out. Okay, so we have a hammock. But we're not done there. It's not scented. Well, I haven't got it glued down. I promise I'll get it glued down. And you got to have the strings that tied to the tree. I got it. Okay. So I'm going to use a hole punch. This is the tiny one. It comes 
I got three in a set, tiny, medium, and the regular size. But I'm going to make a little hole right there. And I'll make Smiles another little hole. Or, that or you could just use a, a little probe if you wanted to. All right. And I have some twine. I really like this one. It's a white or cream, cream variegated. Get a hold of it here. And I'm going to cut a piece. And I'm going to put it through. Maybe I'll put it there. I might have to go with a bigger hole. No, I get it. Just got to be persistent. Now, are you going to glue it or tape in the back, or are you going to actually tie? I'm going to tie it to the tree. Cut what kind of knot you're going to use. <laughs> Bow line, two half inches. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to have two. I'm going to cut here. And I think that's about the same size. Yep. And then I'm going to put it on this one. Let's go with the one I cut, make it a little easier. And I am going to ink it. Oh, I the do have a. Just here. I have a We Are Memory Keepers pick on one end, and it has a pick them up thing on the other, which doesn't stay in very well. But, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can poke it through. Watch it is fingers. so quiet. I'm used to. Watch your fingers. I'm not going to get my fingers. I'm smarter than that. The dog's quiet. She must be entertained That's, also. Yeah, hopefully she's sleeping. She needed a nap. Well, let's go this way and pull it through. Well, my idea is good. I just got to get it. To... There. That's what you got to do. And Pull you through. just pulled it out. I did. Oops. Patience is a virtue. Or if you have a needle, a big darning needle, or what do they call that? Like the leather needles. Okay, here we go. I got it. I just get the rest of it through. Rodelia said it's finally raining. I'm in Riverside. We've had heat waves. She's in Riverside, California. Ooh. Remember, right? Yeah, we saw where and I saw there was saw some flooding coming towards California, which I didn't realize was ever very many. Oh, years ago, I remember California getting hit pretty hard. Okay, so there's our little hammock. The other thing you could do too is if you want to put an eyelet in there, eyelets are actually coming back out. Can you believe it? They are coming back out. Uh, no way. Yes. I mean, I never People let mine say, go. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I never let mine go. I keep all my let anything go. We've got a little bit of oh, everything yeah. that's ever made I have. and then some. I have let stuff go. I really have. Okay, so I'm going to ink this. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink my palm trees. And we're going to start sticking down. Okay, because I wanted you to see this. One, two, and I'm not getting real in depth of these because. That was um, weird. Your video was tongue out and then it took off. Again. Oh, are we still together? Yeah, it's moving now. But okay. It's getting a spiral wheel. I think there's something going on with all the satellites and stuff. TV's been messing up. The internet's messed up. My cell phone has been messing up. So. It's just spinning again. Uh oh. Hopefully not. If it does go out, we will come back. If it comes back, it just catches up. It's buffering real bad. Okay. Sorry, guys. Just keep talking to us and let us know. I know Susan had trouble the other night. It kept going on. I don't know if she had it two or three times. She had to go back in. We generally don't have this thing up. So. I tell you, it, well, like at our school back in Cedar Rapids, they've got hackers. And I just this will be protected. Well, yeah. And I had this uh, when I was on a call earlier too. Uh oh. I don't know. 
Somebody's hacking. Seems like it's still up there. Okay, oh. good. Now we're buffering again. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll kind of hurry here. All right, get this down. We'll start sticking pictures. And then I just got a toucan and a flamingo to make and a flower. Are you guys having trouble on your end? Is it buffering bad for you? Okay. That's done. I need to invent a way to have fiber, mobile fiber. All right. I am going to push that there. That goes with that one. That one goes with that one. We're going to get these down. I'm going to use a little bitty one. Laura says we're good on her side. No problem here, Laura says. Good. Okay, it's good here for Rochelle. Maybe it's just our computer and what I'm watching, which is your video. So yeah. Be kind of like the house monitors on a sound stage. So okay. So this one, I don't want to glue this. Verdella says it's good here at Riverside, California. So Awesome. We got to cut out our toucan yet, too. Yep, the toucan. I got the flamingo and a couple of flowers. But so I really, gonna, this I is the. I just pay attention to the buffering then. Yeah, just don't look. Oh, but it's too late. <laughs> yes, they call in the streak. I was thinking of that. That's an oldie. Darlene says it's on and off. So, yeah, yeah. we're having a few issues. Okay, we'll kind of hustle up here. So okay. Okay, Pennsylvania. All right, there we go. Um, I think I better glue these leaves down. God, we got that song in my head now. Which Don't one? look, Ethel. <laughs> it was too late. <laughs> She'd been mooned. Oops. You want to get that for me? Did it go on the floor? It went over by my foot. Yes, it did. Would you mind? The right one or left one? The right one. My right. Okay, I'll try. Okay. There's one. And then we'll do this one. I think you have to go the other side. To get it, and then we get this one. Oh, bump your light. No, please don't bump my light. That would not be Turn good. Off the light. No, the lights are off. And what's the song? Okay. My ears are turning red when I bend over. That's not good. Thank you. <laughs> Oops. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we're quite level because if I drop something, it starts rolling. Okay, so to get this around the tree. You gotta tie a yellow ribbon. We're gonna tie a cream one. See, we used to play in bands. I got all these songs going through my head. Who did that song, Tie a Yellow Ribbon? Uh, I can see his face. Tony Orlando and Dawn. And Dawn. Yeah. Okay. Got a knot there. And if I have to wrap it again, I can. We got to make an announcement. He just came out of the stands. Who did? What? Oh, yes, they call. Oh. <laughs> so you still got it in your head, dear. Yeah. Not good. All right. Could be worse. This one. Could be the honky donkey. <laughs> Three legged, donkey. one eyed, honky, honky donkey. Wonky donkey. It's a great, 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 great song. Great book. Having a long day and it got you down a little bit. It'll help raise your spirits. Oh, yeah. And if you don't find it amusing, then I'm don't sorry. listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like so many things we have today. If you don't like it, don't Just watch, watch it. it. <laughs> Okay, let's see where we're at here. 
And then do you have to trim those then? Yeah, I will. I just want to make sure that I got it at the right. I might have to make this one just a little shorter. So I'm going to wrap it again. And you could do this with burlap paper because it's fabric. I don't think I tried paper paper though. No. Nope. Okay, there, we've wrapped it again. All right. What do you mean by wrapping? Okay, that's gonna work. I'm gonna pop those trees. And of course I will doodle later and I will get things posted. And all the embellishments. Yep. But you gotta get all the other stuff up there yet. Let me get my and pictures on first. And your pictures. And yep. It's gonna take a lot of pop up. A lot of elevators as you call them. So worth it though. And I've got some buttons I'm gonna put in the middle for like coconuts. Are these organic or are they regular? I didn't know there was organic ones. Where's well, organic? <laughs> Everything has to be organic. I have no idea. No idea. But I am get. I I, I am uh, using up a lot of my stuff that I haven't that I, that I guess I forgot about over the years, like the buttons and all that. So, okay, let's get this peeled. You want to hold the garbage over here? Sure can. All right, perfect. While we're talking, one of the things we did do while we were in North Dakota this time, we did go down to Medora. Oh, at the yes. The south end of the Roosevelt National Park. And what did we see? We, uh, it was a live theater we got to outside. See a coal train, a Burlington North oh. coal train going east. <laughs> okay, you guys got to know Lee has a fetish with food, with music, and with trains. He literally will go and pull off the side of the road just to watch a train to see where it's going from. And coming to what coming and going so yeah anyway we saw the musical yes it was about teddy roosevelt and north dakota and yeah, the town and of medora kind of a musical i guess of that area it was phenomenal just it was fantastic i can't Outdoor wait to show theater. you can't wait to show you on one of the lives some of the pictures and stuff that we took um and we will probably scrapbook yes if you guys have never been to Madeira, Madeira, Madora. Madora, you guys got to go. It has a little city that you can shop, um, little homemade stuff. And, village. Yeah, a village. And it's, and there's some museums there. Um, just a great place for the family to go, or just you as a, a couple, or just go there. It's, Awesome. And the theater, like I said, is outside. And in the background, they move these uh, big sets. And in the background, it looks like the it's kind of like Badlands. The Badlands. Back. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And they it use live cool. horses. And yeah, it is amazing. Okay, guys, here you we go. Help there. Nope. Don't need help. One of those drop, but we'll get it later. That's okay. All right. Just want to make sure I get it in the right place here. Okay. It's, it's got to go down a little. Corner of your viewer here. That's okay. I'm going to get, get it up here a little more. Okay. And we'll finalize it afterwards before we show it. All right. Let me cut these off. Oh, you find one? Yep. Right. Or put them to sleep. Uh-oh. You guys asleep? You're not saying anything. <laughs> I've always been told I got that FM radio voice. Yeah. Okay. So. And can put people to sleep. We have red and we have pink. Maybe the red, we'll see. All right, let's get some of this other stuff down. Get our pictures on. We got a lot of glue here. A lot of what? Uh, got a lot of glue. 
much as a dog fears. Well, that too. Okay. This goes down. To the right side or the left side? Up here. Okay. Catch it, Dad, catch it. This goes up Gee, here. Okay. We got it straight. One eyed, three legged, <laughs> on the donkey. Okay. I'm having trouble getting it even here. What's up with me? That they call the streak. Why am I not even? Did you cut it straight? No, I cut it straight. It's just the person laying it down. There we go. Okay, now this one. Which is up. Which is up. The ink side. Don't you teasing me there, dear. No, I'm trying to figure out what side goes up. Is it the light king with the white or is it the green? No, I got it. It's the ink side. The inky side. The icky side? Inky side. Linda Brock said, hee haw. <laughs> Was it for luck? I'd have no luck at all. Glue mm -hmm. despair and agony on me. You got lots of good luck. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I think we're down. Now. We're picking and a grinning. Do, 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 Just got to make do, sure do. I get this even. There Melissa, we go. So, did we go to Roosevelt National Park? We yes. drive through it. Our son We've lives been... on the north of the north part. And then, of course, the Medora is down at the south part. But we take US 85 to go right along and uh, see all kinds of neat things. We haven't been through one side of it, though. There's part of it down in the south part. Where the wild horses are, we've not been through We there. saw the wild horses from yeah. the interstate, but we didn't get down into the park. We have been through the park at the north where all the buffalo are. Yep, and we saw the part where they have like um, the rocks actually look like cannonballs, like big cannonballs. That was up in the north. Yep. We, well, we did see that. Uh, they actually are going to be starting to work on making US eighty five a four lane. So. Yep. All right. Sherry Gill says she loves that with the chevrons on the top. Thank you. Chevrons are probably one of my favorite ones to work with. Okay, we get some pictures inked here. I like to ink my pictures, um, especially if I you don't print your own here, though, too. Yes. Right? Yes, I do print my own pictures. And so when it does cut or whatever, and you cut the pictures to size, you do have all the whitest exposed. Right. All right, here. We are getting close. Close to what? Getting finished. And then oh. I, I hate keeping you guys up so late. It goes um, out west, it's early. Yeah. In California, it's only quarter to seven. Do you guys like the evening one better? Or would you, I do get a choice of doing like one in the afternoon? Would that work out for you guys too? Would you like not that for me, one? It wouldn't work. Well, I know not for you, but. I could sometimes do an evening one. I don't use that one. A hard time. You could do a third shift one. Do like the a third shift? Yeah. <laughs> oh, golly, I don't think I can stay awake. I'll tell you what, our dog's been getting us up at like 4.30 every morning, or getting me up to go out. And that's getting, that's bad. Oh, and she will not, okay, so I need some help. Our dog will not go to the bathroom at a truck stop or a rest area because of the, the semis. Anybody got any suggestions? I'm at my wits end. I've tried treats. I've tried a shop collar. I've tried just gently letting her out. And if she runs, yelling, <laughs> she runs back to the RV. I mean, we've actually parked right up against the grass for her to go. And she refuses. I mean, she held it. Can't round, open the door, and she gets right out. Yeah. And goes out and goes she held it from six thirty yesterday until nine thirty last night. 
I mean, I appreciate that, that she doesn't make a mess, but that can't be healthy, holding it that long. Well, Shell says she likes the evenings. Linda Brock says, no, the evening's better. Okay. Laura Ruka says, evening is good. Leslie says, do you print the four by six picks and then cut them down? Yes, I do. And then also I have an app on my phone that uh, someone showed me that has, um, it's an Epson, I have the Epson picture mate and then you can, put pictures in in a collage in this app and you can make different sizes then and you can print them on your picture mate or whatever epson printer you have and it works really good because my picture mate only prints uh four by six my old one i could get uh, any size from like the mini wallets to the four by six but this one for some reason they didn't make it to do that so we're gonna put the old Rexall drugstore out of business. <laughs> Deb says she likes the evening. Uh, Joni says evening's better for her. Logan says evening. Uh, Nikki says my schedule is different from day to day, but mostly evenings are good. I wish it is recorded, so I mean, yeah. I see it, but Lucy says evening's great for her. Leslie says evening. Molly says I like the evening. So okay. I think you got your answer. All there. right, good. I wish we could do it just a little earlier, but this is the time that they ask us to do it. But it depends on who it is and where you're yeah. at. Because if you're much earlier, West Coast, you're actually in yeah. the afternoon. Ooh. When That's you right. start, it's five o'clock there. It's five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Grindelia says she likes evenings also. Never know which way to hold this. Didn't want your big one? I did want to use my big one, but I found these when I was cleaning out. I'm like, oh, I need to use these. Get them used up. Okay. Put it about like that. And then we'll put Get them used up before you go full time in the world. <laughs> no, I like my ATG gun, but also too, with my shoulder hurting as bad as it is, I'm best just to use this. This one is just not ergonomically correct. This thing. The little one. I'm going to put a flamingo on top. I'm going to move this over a little bit and get these on. Do you guys have a favorite tape runner? Wonder one. Yeah, we'll get there. Rebellious is the AGT gun. ATG, yep. Does anybody know what that stands for? ATG. America's got talent. <laughs> no, it's the other way around. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know. Tape gun, something. Automatic tape gun? I have no idea. Joni says, I like the Creative Memories tape runner. You know, I've not tried the new one years ago. I mean, I still have some of their tabs. Do you guys remember those? And I would cut them in half and only use part of it. Melody says, I've tried several, but I only like the Creative Memory ones. Hmm. What I recommend is what people like to use is what they should stick with. Definitely. Definitely. I have one that I love, but you can't find the refills anymore. Advanced tape glider. Really? That's what it stands for. 
Huh. Well, you didn't know, so I never would have guessed that. No, I think it's really good. That's awesome. Thank you for looking that up. I had no clue. Okay. Sherry Gill, she wins the cigar for that. <laughs> All right. We just got a couple more templates here to cut. Nikki said, I used to cut those tabs into thirds. Tabs into third. Now that's, that's I good. I do like the current creative memories tape for Melissa says she uh, advanced tape glider. Awesome. That's good because thirds. Wow. Rochelle likes the AGT gun. Laura says your pictures are amazing. Ah, thank you. I always like to do something fun. See, runner the grand is another one here that Laura liked. The one that I really, really liked was by Anna Griffith, and it was a cream one. It was about maybe three-fourths of the size of the, the ATG gun, but you can't get the it refills. It is big and bulky, but it does work well, Yeah. unless you got really small stuff. It's kind of hard sometimes, yeah. but you've got the point where you can really reload it quickly, and it's easy, Yeah. where some people got really challenged with it. Delia, she likes, uh, well, she also offered up its advanced tape lighter, so they all knew what it was. I didn't. I didn't. I think I've had mine for about six years now. So It's going to get old. No. I got, you actually, I have one? two of them. No, I bought one for five bucks at the, at a garage sale at Scrap Mania. Five bucks. And then I get my refills there for $2.99. I think that's what they are. And uh, so definitely worth it. And it it sticks. When it's down, it's not going anywhere. This flower is really pretty. If you guys have the Aloha, if you have the Aloha flower or the Aloha, use that flower out of it. Okay, so I have to do the pull blue over here on this side. What color blue? The pool. I call it a pool blue flower. Yeah. So use that over here. We are just about there. Did you guys see? Okay, so this kit has the the toucan bird. Did you see the person who did it with the feathers? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I'm actually going to make mine with glitter paper, a little black glitter paper. So I kind of overshot there a little. Getting that time of night, Daddy cannot see. And then this one is from Tiny Highlights. Oops, a little clumsy today. So does this set up easier here in the motorhome than home, or do you like it at home? It's just different. I don't know if I say I like it better or worse than at home. It's just different. Scrapbooking for me, I can do it anywhere. And I have done it just about everywhere. Think you could do it in Florida in the wintertime or in South oh, yeah. Texas? I could. I could. That well, we have done it in South Arizona. Texas. We have done it. Arizona. Mm -hmm. It's nice in the winter. Though. There's no grass for Gracie. That's the only problem. She, she'll go like, on rocks, but <laughs> so anyway. Well, let's get a roll of sod put underneath the coach. She's got to break off a piece every so often. Just <laughs> throw it in the ground. Uh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So that's going to go there. And then I'm going to take this template. We have to have some yellow over here, don't we? So. We're going to take the one we had the sun that has the pineapples on the back. And there was one of these little things here. Where do I want to put it? Stamen. That's what they call it. A stamen. Now, instead the flower of. Flower stem, yeah. Instead of. Do I want to cut those tiny things out? Or do my hole punch work? Let's see what the medium one works. The medium about the same size. Can you just cut out the outside and put some other different color? No, I don't want to do that either. I am going to use a hole punch. 
It's just almost the same size, almost exactly. So I'm just gonna make three of them. Statement, I couldn't remember what this thing was called. The center of the flower. The honey dripper. <laughs> honey dripper. We saw a lot of sunflowers out around North Dakota and a lot of sugar beets. Um, what else did we see out there? Beets. They're all oh, the, the countryside right now is just and wheat. gorgeous. Yeah, actually, okay. Durham. Durham, yep. Yeah. One, two, three. Mm, that might be too small. You got a bigger one? I do. That might work. Just going to be a little tricky to get one there. Okay. We'll see when we get going here. Okay. Um, we got to cut out the flamingo. Oh, those little dots. Yes. No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I thought you did. That would be a little fun to try I'm to paint. Not All you sure. do is eat your fingers. You want to glue them down before you lose them? You've already not Actually, them. oh, it's there. I'm going to make another flower on this side for the red. I'm going to put this one over here on this side. And the reason being is because I need that pink for the flamingo. So we'll do it. And you got car. a toucan to do. And I got a toucan. You got a lot to do yet. It's not yet. Just the little details. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're just about, we'll cut out a couple more things and then, down. then you guys will let you go and I'll finish them up. You guys kind of got the gist. What I really wanted you to see was how I did that make a little hammock and a little shaker. Deetra says good night to all great pages. Thank you. So I'll get this one cut out. I'm going to cut the flamingo so you guys can see how that is. And then we will call it a night. Get my cut and go in here. We really appreciate each and every one of you that you join us. And Linda Brock said it looks amazing. We, uh, we love to do this. Lee likes to be with me and He's a good help. He's he does really good at reading the comments for me and really um, good help. You're good help. What can I say? Molly says great page. Thank you. I know you worked with Molly a little bit on some yeah. different things. Um, FYI, too, the one template set that I got the smaller tropical leaf out of. Oh, where did I put it? It has the jig jagged um, placemat on it there's a little corner of it you use for journaling here it is so this piece right here i want to show you that this is the one in the march kit club and the giraffe and that smaller leaf Debbie said it's a beautiful page. So you can take this here and you could make a block. You can make a journal spot there. You could do a journal spot there. You could do a journal spot over here. But this is this would make a great journal template. So Nikki said, I love that you guys do this together. Oh, thank you. Pink. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut part Maybe of this thing. Says always a great time. Thanks. We love it that you guys like us. That's my pens. Those pencils kind of just disappear. All right, we're going to cut the flamingo, and I'm just going to lay him on there, and I'll finish him up later. And then you guys can tune in and got, check. Got two can to do. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'll do him too. I'll do him later. Kathy Burgess says, I agree. So there's him. Okay, so we'll get this cut. 
this has been a fun page. Like I said, I haven't scrambled like for a, a while. Butcher. It's a flamingo. Do you guys know why or how the flamingo gets pink? I know why. It's what he eats. He is white, but when he eats shrimp, he turns pink. Do you like shrimp? I like shrimp. He you likes shrimp. Pink? Nope. I don't think so. Deborah Bordero says, thanks, Lee and Linda. Your page is awesome. Good night. Good night. Don't forget September uh, at the end of the month. I think it's the 28th. Liz it's the last Liz Friday, but we'll be back again. We're going to do a lake camping one. Okay. Did Lucy answer correctly? Eat shrimp. Yep. That's always good. Okay. So to do his legs, we just trace it like we did the stamen. So we do some prosthetics. Is that what you're the Prosthetics. Doing? Yeah. <laughs> they probably should no. be black, right? Yep, he's getting black. black legs. I got black paper right here. And it's kind of got um, Is just it some scrap. On one side or? It's it's kind of looks like linen, to be honest with you. All right, so if you've never used a Kuru Toga pencil, this is where it shines. Oop, if I keep the leg from breaking. On black paper, you can actually trace and see the it's pencil line. Shiny on shiny, kind of, isn't it? Yeah, it works really good. So you don't have to have a white pen. The Kuru Toga pencil is perfect. See there? I don't know if you can see that. Let me hold it up a little bit. You can actually see it. Can they see it? Uh, you got a delay. Got to wait. Dum -dum. Slow, slow. What's the Jeopardy song? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, you can see. Right? Perfect. Yeah, okay, let me cut it out and you do it this way. Now, is that better? Oh, well, they can see it. Okay. So, he says, I can see it. Yep. The Kuru Toga. show up well, Nikki says. Yeah. Black pencil on black paper. <laughs> Just a. Who would ever nude it? Who would have nude it? Okay, I'm going to use my tinies. My tiny, tiny, tiny. It's very clear. Yeah, sure. You can see it. Not all pencils are like that. Is it radioactive? I hope not. I got enough issues. <laughs> you got issues? Oh, that would be awful to get sick. <laughs> Radiation from scrapbooking. You know, we used to say people got all that radiation, radiation sickness that worked and did the mm -hmm. clocks way back when they painted the. Yeah, that I could see. Okay. I'm going to put his legs down and I'm going to take and trace the two can out of the same paper. I'm not using anything fancy schmancy. I am going to use maybe some glitter paper with him. We'll see some black glitter. And you got all your embellishments you'll do. You do yep. some. With the pins, I'm sure you can do some little dashes along the yep. bottom template. Actually, board. I'm probably going to try and do something that Ginny does, Ginny Prosser. She goes around and well, she uses matching ink and then traces or does uh, doodle marks with matching gel pens. But I might use some of the gel pens around different colors. We'll see. In, uh this is tiny, tiny. Yeah, that's pretty official DMs, doodle marks. Doodle marks. Okay. So there's our little flamingo guy. I'll just finish him up. All right. I think we're just going to stop there and I will finish it up later. And, and you'll post and you'll list yep. everything, including your embellishments. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we'll list uh, for Scrap Mania. Feel free to always contact them. There's things you can't get at your local store. Yeah, and you'll have your contact info. Feel free to reach out to you yep. for anything. Yep. All right, guys. Well, it's been a great night as always. And I will finish this up and I'll post it tomorrow. You guys have a great weekend coming up and we will see you soon here and do another layout. All right, guys. Have a good night.